This is Algebra Lesson 811. We'll be doing problems 1 through 5. In this first problem, we're given algebra tiles and we need to find the sum and the product. So recall that the product is the perimeter of the rectangle and then the product is these two things multiplied together. So we've got x plus 4 times y plus x plus 2. Okay, in 8-1 part B, we're asked to take this binomial and multiply them together. Again, this is a generic rectangle. I'm multiplying these terms together. I'm starting with the product. My result will be the sum. Okay, before we start problem two, there's a link in the lesson document to the algebra CPM tiles that are online because you guys won't have access to tiles. So what I've done is I went to backgrounds and I loaded a corner piece and then I can put in tiles and align them up in that corner piece to make my rectangles. Now, when you click a tile on the screen, it will turn red for negative, like that. If you double click it, like that, double click there, it'll rotate the tile. Click once for red tiles, double click for rotation. Okay, for 2a, we've got 2x squared plus 7x plus 6 on your E tiles, put those on the screen. The goal here is to arrange this into a square or a rectangle. They should fit perfectly. If they don't fit perfectly, it's not factorable. In this case, when we rearrange them, you can see that this will make a rectangle. Okay, so now I'm going to write the perimeter, which is the products of this sum. So I'm going to list that out. So it's going to be 2x plus 3 times x plus 2. And that's our product given the sum. Okay, for the next problem, we need 6x squared plus 7x plus 2. Okay, so now you're going to try to put these tiles into a rectangle and then you're going to write the outside perimeter which is the product. It can take a few tries to get the algebra tiles to work out perfectly. In this case it does. So the next step is we're going to write the perimeter, which will be our product, and that's equivalent to the sum that we started with. Okay, in part C, we've got x squared plus 4x plus 1. We're building a rectangle out of the tiles you should see that this one is not going to work out. In this case, it's not factorable. Part D is 2xy plus 6x plus y squared plus 3y. Again, we're going to make these algebra tiles into a rectangle. Then we're going to write the products, which is the perimeter of the rectangle.
In problem three, they give us the generic rectangle. They want us to write the product and the sum from the generic rectangle given. So for this process, you need to work backwards. 2x times 3x, that's 6x squared. 3x times 5, that's 15x. 2x times 1, that's 2x. 1 times 5, that works out too. This is the sum. We can also write the products. Okay, hopefully you tried part B and C on your own. Here are the solutions to part B and C. In problem four, we are asked, what is the relationship between the diagonals in this generic rectangle? What do the diagonals have in common? So if you multiply 6x squared times 5, you get 30x squared. If you multiply 2x times 15x, you also get 30x squared. We're gonna use this in upcoming lessons. The learning log says, does Casey's pattern always work? Verify that her pattern works for all of the two by two generic rectangles in problem 8-3. Then describe Casey's pattern for the diagonals of a two by two generic rectangle in your learning log, include an example. On the screen, I'm doing an example right now. You can try more examples on your own and record it in your notes for the learning log.